Oh yeah, well that should do it. That should do it just fine. So we completed the commission here and uh, Cylon is gonna be uh, blown away by my beautiful green F whenever he sees this thing. I think that should prove that he, oh geez, hey Cy. What the f you're doing here? I didn't know you were on, <laughs> how random and weird. So I fulfilled, oh, I fulfilled the commission. I put a bunch of your dead dead bushes all around here just to draw attention to my beautiful green. I tried to be subtle, you know. Yeah. And if you yeah. if you want to leave this for your personal base forever, then uh, you know, it, it, I'm just saying it's it might be a nice touch. But, you know, people might really enjoy seeing that beautiful green F. Yeah, I might do a uh, town square there. You know, so yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Look, uh, I love the bushes here. Well, so uh, let's, so yeah. How about these? These are these are our dead coral. If you don't know what these are, uh, why didn't I? Get, oh, I didn't. Oh, I just killed it. Oh, you need you need silk touch. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's our Ooh, dead, okay, our dead coral. Uh, it's pretty nice. One of our, one of our several new dead coral textures. So, um, uh, do you do you have some, do you have something for me? Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Oh yes, my second banner. Oh, I feel so wealthy. Uh, I I I don't want to I don't want to say anything that we shouldn't shouldn't talk about. But I, I noticed you have some some banners up here. Have you been collecting uh, IOUs? Are, are these? Yeah, yours? for sure, for sure. Yeah, oh. yeah. Uh, oh, very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I'm, I'm planning to build a uh, hall of bands. <laughs> a what? <laughs> a hall of bands. Oh. The banners. Oh, the ba oh, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> pun intended. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it seems like I need to get on it because my my plan, my secret plan, was to be the richest person on the server. But uh, you already have as many as me uh, already, so I need to get to work. Apparently. Yeah. I'm. Uh, well, I think I have like eight. Oh, jeez, jeez, you have eight? Yeah. Holy cow! Who? Where? Where's? Where are your riches? Over are these your riches right here? Yeah, actually, uh, the, one, two, two? Uh, three, four. I. Oh no, 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 no! I have six, but you... this from Denisy is fifty percent up front, wow. and the rest after work down, you know? Wow. So. Okay. Well, I need to... I, okay, fine. Fine. Okay, that's how it is. So I need to get working. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. So well, I, I appreciate doing business with you. If you have any more, you know, keep me in mind. I do have some grind time. I, I have a little bit of a backlog here. So, I, I uh, you know, let me know if you need anything else. Yeah, yeah I might actually. I might actually because I have uh, lots of terraform terraforming going on here. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I can, I can, I can probably do some of that. So to, just like, uh, you know, give me a, you know where to find me. Just uh, follow the green F in the end. And, uh, Hey, you know what? Actually I built something in the end. I feel like we do this every time we talk. Do you want to, you want to come see what I built? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Cool. Let's just... head over to the end. Well, here we are. We're in the end. You might not recognize it if you haven't seen it on, on someone else's videos yet, but this is the new end ship. This is the actual obsidian platform that you spawn in on. And if you walk out here, it's a ship. I, I built a ship. I finally did. I've been talking about it for, I don't know how long, like three years, probably. <laughs> and I finally did it. <laughs> three years. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a nice one. So, oh, this is so cool. the idea is it's an elven, it's an elven ship, but it has graven wall influences because, uh, secretly lore wise, and, and no one knows this yet. So you're getting, uh, Stu's going to be mad that I didn't tell him first, but you're getting a little input <laughs> on the lore. The, the yeah. elves have been in contact with the high humans and people of graven wall with their steampunk technology. Yeah. Getting ready to uh, getting ready to maybe maybe re-enter the war maybe so so you can see like this regular airship has been outfitted with with some uh, some steampunky fans and down below it you can see there's some uh, enderium uh, particles coming off it so they use like a combination of of uh, steampunk and high human and elven all all kind of combined you know. Yeah, I so, like it. So it's... there's a bit of lore to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this ship over to the end. We just need to figure out exactly where it's going to be. Hopefully somewhere very close to the ender ender. For right now, there's just uh, your teleports just to get to the uh, the ender ender. Like, well, how about that? We finish our first quest. I am very, very happy about it. And oh, not quest. I mean, commission. I'm, I'm saying quest. I mean, commission, commission, commission. That's what I meant to say. So what I want to do is I, I I glossed over very quickly, but I want to show you the ship because I I'm pretty proud of this ship. I I don't it was I'll, okay. Look, 
look, I'll tell you this. It didn't turn out exactly how I thought it was going to turn out. I'll tell you that right away. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. And then just in the building process, just one thing turned uh, to another and another. And it just it, it's, it's a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. But I think it works all right. So um, I, I converted my sheep into wool a while ago, a couple of several episodes ago. So I had a whole bunch of white wool. I have a bunch of them with a bunch of and a bunch of ink. So that stuff was really no problem there. I still have plenty of leftover wool. The quartz, actually, I came out almost exactly enough. Of course, I had to go farm just a little bit more. And then after that, I went a little crazy and farmed a lot more because I realized I wanted to use netherrack as a trade for the banking clan for diorite. Okay. So, so yeah, so I have a bunch of quartz. I'm planning on building an armada. That's my plan. I want to build an armada because here's the lore story. And this is all going to be opened up in a story, but the, my story is so far away from, from coming out that I'm just going to tell you and then let, let it sort of develop as far as the story goes, right? But here's the story. The elves have been in contact with the people of Gravenwald, just like I said to Sai just a few moments ago. They've been talking to the people of Gravenwald through a specially constructed portal as part of the Zygon Society. And the people of Gravenwald, the high humans of Gravenwald, have been giving the elves their technology. The high humans have been giving um, help with their enhanced intelligence. And the, the Zygon Druze have been giving the elves some of their magic bits that they've learned over the centuries, right? The elves in return have been forming a massive army here in the end, because here's the deal. Here's the big, here's the big crazy part of the deal. You know how in the nether one year in the nether equals eight years out here. Well, well in the overworld, not here, but well, in the overworld, one year equals eight years in the end. So the end, just like it's, it's opposite of the nether in every way it's opposite in time as well. So, the Zygon Society has been talking to the Druze for maybe a handful of years, maybe 10 or 12 or 20 years, something like that. But in that has been, you know, like 80 years or 100 years or, or 200 years for the elves. And the elves have had time to breed and to form a huge army in order to take the fight to the to the nether. So that's the plan. That's what I want to build here in the end. And I think where I'm going to build, I think I'm going to build it near my base. That's going to be my big off-season uh, project. It's going to be build several ships. I'd like to say an armada, but I mean, come on. It's going to be several ships, all different designs, some airships, some of these propellers, all that kind of stuff. Some using the sort of high human uh, graven wall propellers, some just using your classical this thing some might have some might have like a normal sort of uh what sail you know normal sail but with a propeller or something like that yeah i think it's gonna be a really 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 cool thing but yeah that's that's sort of where the story is going i know i got a comment saying hey I, i'm having trouble understanding where the story is and all that kind of stuff well i think that's that's it i think the problem is i've i've dropped tidbits here and there and beat around the bush a lot and i think i just need to come out and say it and uh so so that's it so that's basically the story i need to go north this way okay i'll see you back in civilization what i want to do today i've decided is i want to go around gravenwall i'm kind of inspired by rask who's been doing this a lot on his own including also a gym we put out a video of him doing this and basically what they're doing is they are finishing what is why does that happen again ah, i'm too low they are finishing basically unfinished parts of this town let me show you kind of what i mean rask showed me what he worked on and i think that maybe i'm not sure if it was on purpose or not but he and i generally both did sort of the same area i think they both did parts of the same area but but this area right here this was just dead space right and how cool is this there's like you got this little it's just awesome it's just awesome awesomely done like this was nothing this was nothing and and it just having this water pour out pour out of grates is just a really cool idea it just makes the whole thing look like it's going on the sewer Oh, look, there's, what's going on over here? Why is there redstone? What is this? What the heck is this? What's in, what's in here? What, 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 what's happening? What's on the other side of this wall? Uh, what is this room? What is this room? I've never seen this room before. What is it? What's in here? Is this storage? Is someone doing mega storage here? What the heck is happening? I've never seen this room before. Who's doing what? Who's doing something secret back here? What the heck? I have no idea what that mysterious little thing was. I have no idea. Oh, this is part, it's, it's in the back of a gym lace house. He must have something. Maybe it's him. It has some, some sort of special weird stuff going on. Oh man. I hope I'm not ruining anything, but yeah, I probably did. I mean, I did just look at redstone, so. Uh, yeah, it's definitely ruined. 
Uh oh. Uh oh, I screwed up. So I was hoping to talk to Stu, and unfortunately he can't. Uh, but an interesting thing just happened totally accidentally. I'm trying to get to the Zygon Society, and let me show you uh, the situation. I'm here in my factory because, unbeknownst to me, I was digging right through the, the floor of my factory. Oh, a creeper's coming up to visit. How fun. Let's try out the new creeper data pack, shall we? We just got a new data pack. I'm going to show you all that stuff later, maybe next episode. But uh, let's see what happens here. All right, do your work. Oh, I see, it did move me. No, no, it didn't hurt me. We couldn't figure out how to make it happen. We have tried a lot and could not figure out how, how to get it to actually damage us. So unfortunately not, but at least there's knockback. So there's something that could knock you off something or uh, some sort of penalty, but uh, yeah, anyway. And the other thing we added in, we added in a sapling recipe because uh, uh, there's, a, there's two saplings that have really bad returns, dark oak and jungle. And it felt like um, having a sapling recipe would be better than cutting down a whole jungle because of our forever world nature. Like if we were doing, you know, a year long season, like most SMPs, then I would never do that. But, but, you know, our, our one jungle that we have close by is going to be our one jungle like forever. I can't even believe how perfectly this, this came out. It's really, really, really lucky. So this right here is the actual middle ground of Stu's Explorers Guild. Let me show you where we're talking about here once we get down to the bottom here. So this is the Gravenwall Explorers Guild and Stu has a few entrances here that he hasn't really done anything with, like, well, all of them so far. So well, I thought, well, you know what? I know he has plans. This sign says underground OOM. I, I, know, I know he has plans, but if we, if I could get, and that's why I was hoping to record with him. So if I could get him to move these plans here, order of man, and instead do a Zygon society entrance, this could be the perfect way to get up into the, 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 the castle, right? This could be a perfect way to get up into the castle right up here. Like maybe build some, uh, really, you know, large, big staircase. I think it could be a really cool thing. Uh, you know, what I'm going to need, I'm going to need to dig a lot. So let's just go get a buff now. I'm going to go ahead under the assumption that Stu is going to be fine with this. I know he has been really, really working on his personal base. So my thinking is that he's going to be okay with it. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do an like order of man library here and then allow the stairs to come up this way. So the way I'm thinking about doing it, I'm thinking about going like every five stairs, every five stairs, then we'll do a, like a landing. I think that's going to be the best way. I don't want to do from here the whole way up to there is one staircase. It looks really stupid. If you've ever done it before, it's not a good look. So let's go like one two, three, four, and five. And then from here, we'll do like uh, maybe this much. Uh, like uh, have, have one, two, three, four. Oh, well, that's actually kind of perfect, right? So we'll do like, then we'll do a five wide landing. I think it should be a really good thing. And, and you know, then uh, we'll do all the decorating later. Let's go one, two, okay, uh, three, four, and then five. Um, now, did I, I already forgot, I already forgot, is it one, and then this is two, three, four, five, okay, it's actually six, it's actually, right, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, it's actually six, okay, six is fine, then one, two, three, four, five, six, because then I'll stand on this one and hit as far as I can, and that'll be the, the distance of the next one, right, and that kind of makes sense, I think it's going to be a really cool thing, and a really nice way to get on the, get in the Zygon, uh, Zygon Dynasty, I think, I think, I think, anyway, so I got some digging to do, we'll see you on the other side. I do think the little platforms go a lot towards making this more interesting. And I don't know what we're going to do with that. We're going to work that out together. But I do think, oh, see you later, camera account. <laughs> I do think that two wide is not nearly wide enough. So we're going to go with six wide and just see how that feels. If it feels great, then cool. If it feels too small still, then we're going to go even more. We're just going to keep going until this feels as grand as what, well, a castle should be, right? Okay, let's keep going. All right, then we did some grinding. We did some grinding here and boy, every time I think I'm gonna fall in lava there. And what do you think? Here's the entrance way. You're gonna walk in here and just lay it down. I didn't do all the decorating. I know people are gonna be like, oh, you built everything off camera. I just put up walls. It's just walls. It's just walls, no big deal. But I did go to the end and I grabbed, oh, Santa Rescue rather. And I grabbed a whole bunch of bookcases, which I think are gonna be really nice for this area. It's supposed to be the order of man after all. So. I think what we'll do is we're going to do some seating areas like here, here, then then just dot bookcases kind of randomly a around like something like there and then maybe like here. 
You know what I mean? Like, kind of random here, definitely. Maybe some will be full walls. Something like that, you know, just maybe just one. A couple over here. That kind of stuff. I think that'll that'll be cool. And then we'll just do seating areas around here. I, I want to try to make the 64 bookcase that I have stretch a bit because it, uh, it I we're basically tapped out of of leather right now and um it just you know that just takes a little while to get it all back but yeah i don't think that we need to fill up every single row with bookcase i really don't i think that we just need to sort of say oh okay it's a library it's a seating area it's like a study a study hall for for the order of man slash the the drews maybe maybe they study down here as well that kind of thing i yeah i think that'll be i think that'll be just fine you know i think this kind of thing i still i'm not going to have enough but this kind of thing i think is going to be a really good really good very sort of haphazard way of doing this also i did do some cartography tables i thought maybe we could dot some of those in they kind of look like study materials right kind of kind of does just stick them in there i think it's i think it's fine so i'm gonna cut here i'm gonna do all the seating you don't need to necessarily see that that's pretty boring but let's we'll just do regular seating regular chairs all the usual type of stuff and then Maybe we'll come back and work on this inner hallway for lighting and carpet. Uh, you know, if I'm really smart here, I might have enough. Maybe. Oof, maybe not. Was that, can I can I get I really I'd love to have enough. Let's just make it work. That let's just make it work. That's fine. That's fine. I'll come in and do all the seating and then we'll come back on the other side of that and figure out what's next. This is like the longest I've been on in recent history without anyone else on. I just can't believe it. It's it's like a ghost down here. I feel like I'm the only one who's breaking quarantine, <laughs> which uh, all jokes aside, take that stuff seriously. Don't leave your house. Okay, let's continue on. Here's the plan. I, I, I filled up these places as best I can with basically no other materials and not, not dealing with lighting or carpets at all. So the next thing we got to do is we got to figure out lighting. So let's work on first thing is this. Here's the problem. This is an all, it's an even numbered hallway because that is an even numbered stair because basically this gear is even numbered that's why the whole thing uh, i generally don't have a problem with even numbered however that being said right now i would like to not have an even numbered even numbered hallway because i'd like to light from the middle but you can't you can't right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way down here and we're just gonna do this one down from the top because i want there to be a gap there i think that's a little bit of a better look and that's going to change anyway once we get right here because that's good oh, nope there we go uh yeah it's going to be attached to the top now uh, but i think that the rest of this will be okay let's see i see that i see what i just did there we go we'll do this and this and then that and that i'm not worried about the hallway yet we'll get there we'll get there that's not a hole that's a graphical glitch that's not there but yeah we'll get there we got the ceiling put in i didn't get uh there's nothing done with the side yet we'll, we'll get there at some later time a at least for right now i want to just make this area look nice so let's get rid of these torches on the ground and start to make this place a little bit more done okay next thing we're gonna have to be inventive about the way i see that we're gonna have to be inventive about the way that we do this so we can hang down uh stuff and i think we probably should at, from, from at points and then also we should just use this as decoration to put on top of tables and all that kind of stuff and i don't have i don't have optifine running right now so i can't run one of those texture packs that shows you how your light levels are so i don't know but i'd probably rather rather i'd probably rather too much than too little so i don't mind that i think that's okay three three little lanterns are supposed to be there for studying right so we can do that again let's we'll start with putting it hanging down like that and then we'll find places like maybe just something like that i think that's okay as well maybe on top of there and uh, that should do it i think that should do it we'll just watch if we see a mob spawn but yeah okay then over here we'll do something like maybe here on top of the scaffolding and let's hang down let's see there's one there's a few different options so let's hang one down from here and then let's go the whole way over here and hang one down from here yeah, that's okay. I like that there are different heights, actually. That's kind of nice. Okay, we'll get rid of that. What do you think? Good? Uh, something could be here. Let's do that. Okay. That's all right. All right. One more torch. Okay, let's take a look around. How's that look? Bright enough? I think it's bright enough. I think it should be good. I think I asked the guys. So I put... I put... um. 
I put a picture up on Discord and, and of on uh, on our Realm of Assassin Discord. I said, "Hey, can anyone know where this is? Anyone? Can anyone guess?" And and at first, no one did. But then I think maybe uh, Chaos just got it. I think he just got it. He said the cliff next to the Adventurers Guild in Grave Gravenwall. And I think what he meant was the Explorers Guild. I think he probably just said the wrong said the wrong. Uh, nah, I don't like it. No, I like definitely like the fence more. So I think he just got it though. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, this is pretty dark over here. Let's throw one up on top of that. I like it being haphazard lighting rather than like very structured, the same, the same all over the place. I think it's a, I think it's better. I think it's better to be sort of random rather than uh, uniform, right? Symmetric. All right, solid. So I have another plan for a little bit more lighting, which may give me the chance to get rid of some of this lighting, which I would really like to do. So. Let's see how this is going to work. I will just get rid of that and let the torches be on the ground. Uh, do I have a chest in here? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. Let's do this and let's do that. Okay, great. I do have a little bit of carpet as well that we can mess with. But what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking for some of these areas, I think we can do some, a little bit of creative lighting. So what I'm thinking is, let's do this. Boop, boop. And then what we'll do is we'll put a, put a light on the inside of that window. I think that could look really cool. So we'll just do this, hang down there, and just like that. That way, it's good. the light's going to get out here, too, and it's going to give you something to look at. I think that's kind of cool, right? Uh, maybe a little bit uh, maybe a little bit overkill, but, yeah, should be a nice little detail to add. I want to try this, too, and see if I like it. But I'm thinking I'll put adding more. I really think the look of windows inside is kind of cool because this is actually open to the air as well. But I don't know. Let me, let me sit. Let's sit in here and, and study and think. I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of cool, actually. I don't, I don't really mind it. And from this side, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, I don't mind. I think it, it's, it's kind of interesting. It's uh, not probably a look I've done before, but oops, uh, something like this. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's neat. I like it. Small little step here. I want to bring some carpet in. And unfortunately for this carpet, I don't have that much other carpet. So I think I'm going to have to run out to the, to the end and grab some of my white wool here. But uh, one of the techniques I really, really like to use, and this is, I'm not breaking ground here, but is is to bring in some random lower carpets. I think it's really, hey, it's funny I say I'm not breaking ground. I'm breaking the wood. But it, it just, I think it just adds a little bit. I used to hate this. It adds a little bit of of uh, depth texture and just just sort of I don't know just give something to it and, and yeah I know everyone does it I get it uh, but the one I saw do it was was beat ups and I thought wow I, at first I hated it and now the more I watch it the more I'm like wow that is it adds so much just you know we don't have that many small textures that are smaller than a block and being able to add something that is that is uh, just one or what it's carpet. It's carpet one pixel, two pixel, one pixel. It is just, it's such a nice thing. It's it's really, really, really cool. So I'm going to head out to the end and grab some of my leftover white carpet from the balloon. And then I'll meet you back here. Okay, then I've done some work. I did a little bit of work to the outside. I think it's coming along. It's coming along. I, I was gonna, I was gonna try to get White Knight Stew's reaction because you know he set aside this part and then has been running out of time this season. So I thought I'd, I'd surprise him, but then he came in before I was ready to record, and so I missed the reaction. Boo! I think it would have been awesome, but uh, yeah, just little things that I'm doing right here. I'm just trying to like break up the straight lines, you know, in 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 building i think that minecraft lends itself so well to straight lines that anytime you can break them up in any way it's a really it's a really good thing you know uh like for example this is a trick that i've used boy oh my goodness i've used this this a whole lot of times but you know i mean you know, it does it just it just adds some sort of interest is it the greatest thing ever uh no probably not the greatest thing ever but it, it breaks up the straight line i'll take it so yeah, so I went with this carpet look here. I, I actually made the carpet fairly symmetrical as far as uh, shape goes, like where it goes in each one. I didn't do the sort of weird phrase out, and I think it's really nice. I think this area is really cool. It's a nice way to get up to the Zygon Society up here, and it's it's way up there. But and so I got to do, I got to do this. Maybe we'll do that next episode, or maybe between episodes. I don't know. It's not all that exciting. Just doing little, uh, some sort of something kind of decoration there but yeah i think it's really cool there's little coves like you could see 
all the sages from the order of man might sit here and study over their tomes and journals and all that kind of stuff it's it's cool it's a very cool little addition and i like that it's kind of tucked away you know one thing that i want to do here before i before i wrap this up is i want to figure out where exactly i can get rid of that now i know what it is uh i want to figure out where exactly the the uh road is going to be to get there i think it's going to have to be a, a pretty pretty small road actually because like you could walk here. I guess it could be three wide. It could be three wide. So let's go three wide and let's go all uh, here. I think I'm going to use andesite as well. So we'll go like this. And then after that, then we can just bone meal it up. So it looks like this is even numbered. So maybe this will be two or four. Let's see what looks best. Yeah, it's going to have to be four. Four, two, uh, two is too narrow. Three would be nice, but it's I can't because it's it's not it's an even numbered thing. But yeah, this would be good. So you can walk out either exit right there, and it's uh it's gonna be good. This is gonna be a really nice little thing. So let me get this laid, get some bone meal over here, and we'll take a look at the end. Oh, I think this is really nice. I think this turned into a really nice little library. I kind of wish I had more bookshelves, but I think that the point is established. I think it is what it is. When you walk in, you can see that this is a bit of a study hall area. And I really like it. I think it's really cool. So that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for spending part of your day with me here in the realm of Vast. And we'll see you next episode. I didn't show you what I did out here. It's no big deal. It's just this. <laughs> it's just this. I, we're going to decorate this. I wanted to get some, maybe some fences and stuff like that. But I'm out of time today. So I want to get this out. All right. So thank you so much for coming by. And I'll see you all next episode from the realm of Vast. And bye, everybody. Subscribe to my friends. Drop me a like if you don't mind. It's very helpful. We'll see you next time.